Launch Young Epilepsy Everyone Knows Someone campaign with River Island. We're here with Suzanne Fowler, who has had epilepsy for 12 years and who is going to talk to us a bit about um, what her life has been like since she was diagnosed with epilepsy. So when were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed when I was 19, but um, that was actually three years after I started um, having convulsions. Um, I I was actually 16 and noticed that I was having some jerks, involuntary jerks, Um, but because um, I wasn't completely sure what that was and um, it happened after I'd been either drinking or I was tired or stressed, I didn't want to um, actually have a definitive answer on what, what was happening because I didn't want to change my lifestyle. So. I actually hid it from um, my family and friends for those three years. Were you frightened when those things were happening to you? Yeah, I was extremely frightened, um, but I also um, felt that I I didn't want... It wasn't something that I felt comfortable exploring at that time. I, um, I had a couple of occasions where I'd fall down, but I got up very quickly so that nobody kind of noticed and just carried on. Um, and I tried to push it to the back of my mind and not and not think about it too much. So would it be fair to say that even without a diagnosis of, of, of epilepsy, you were embarrassed about what was happening? I was extremely embarrassed about what was happening. Um, it was it was noticeable, but I tried to minimise um, the kind of how how um, that came across to other people and and try and control it to, to control it myself actually. So how did you finally get diagnosed? I was diagnosed when I was 19. Um, I went to university and um, as most kind of teenagers do, you um, are living quite a hectic lifestyle. There's a lot of stress and going out, drinking with friends, um, late nights. um, And I actually had um, a a tonic-clonic seizure um, when I was sleeping after a night out. Um, And my friend who I was with at the time was very... Con- concerned about me, they didn't know what was happening, um, so called an ambulance and I went to hospital. Right, and once you'd been diagnosed, how did it affect your life after that? Um, it was actually a relief to be diagnosed. Um, I thought that I'd be um, that I would that it would have been difficult to be kind of diagnosed, and that was what I was scared of. But actually, it was a relief because having medication and being treated for it and it being under control and not having to worry about that aspect about having fits was a, an enormous um, kind of relief. Um, however, it was a kind of double-edged sword because there was also the embarrassment about having it and if, if people asked about it, then explaining that I had epilepsy and I found that not many people actually had a very good understanding of epilepsy around me at that time. How did you go about telling people? Often I'd, I wouldn't tell people. Um, I didn't I didn't tell um, a lot of friends, only very close friends. Um, I, I kept it a secret and, and just carried on with my life. Um, it was it was more if if I was going away on holiday, perhaps, um, for example, I went to um, Ecuador uh, with some friends and an opportunity came up to um, go into the jungle and um, go camping in quite a remote area. And I told a friend that I was epileptic and I was on medication, but everything would be fine. But she'd, um, re- I, I didn't know her that well, she had read an article um, about someone who died from epilepsy, so got very nervous about going to a remote area with me in case I had a fit. And so we ended up not going, which, um, as a teenager, that was my first experience of actually how it's perceived and that d- despite you trying to reassure people, they have their own concerns about it. Mm, absolutely. If you were talking to somebody, because it sounds like um, you were quite isolated and alone, and alone with that diagnosis, if you met somebody um, who was going through that now, what would you tell them? What do you think you would say about having epilepsy? I think it would have been enormously helpful at that time to have had somebody who was also going through it, going with the experience of having epilepsy as well, 
it would have been enormously useful to talk to them. Um, and I, and looking back, if I was speaking to my kind of teenage self, I'd say get the diagnosis if you're unsure that um, of what's happening and you're experiencing these things. It's it's terrifying, but it's not uh, being diagnosed with it doesn't actually affect your lifestyle. You can still go out. You can still kind of have fun. You just had need to be more careful and um, and accept that you are slightly you have something that's slightly different, but it doesn't affect your lifestyle. You can live a perfectly normal life, but you just need to look after yourself more. I think that's an absolutely fantastic message to get out to, especially teenagers, that you can live. I mean, I'm talking to you here. You've obviously got a really good job. Um, you're, you know, we've talked about um, things that you might be doing in the future. Um, obviously, epilepsy hasn't held you back. And uh, I think to be able to get that message across to teenagers who may be feeling very isolated and lonely out there with the diagnosis of epilepsy would be absolutely fantastic. So Suzanne, what do you think of Young Epilepsy Everyone Knows Someone campaign with uh, River Island? I think it's a fantastic campaign. I think the fact that everyone does know someone, whether you whether you're aware of it or not, is the real point. And I think a large organisation like River Island getting behind this and and supporting it will really help to bring epilepsy out of the shadows and raise it as a topic of discussion, um, especially for young people who, when you're faced with something that is that is quite scary and unknown, it will really help them to know that it's up for debate and it's and it's affecting other people mm -hmm. around the country. And hopefully, the wristband will actually. Ha acts as a talking point of conversation for people uh, so if we can get everyone wearing those wristbands it would be great that would be great and also it's a fashionable thing as well and it's um it's something that you know it's great to show that epilepsy can be discussed and that people are willing to show their support for her. everyone knows someone yeah thank you so much Susanna, for talking to us and being so honest and open thank you very much my pleasure <laughs>